this is the kind of app we are going to create so as you can see you have a log you have the budget dashboard entries and then income log so for example the income income log is where you input your income all right when you go to the log this is where you can record the expenditure you have made and then the dashboard gives you an overview of your spending over time and the categories as well all right so let's dive in and get this done so to build this app we will need this these four tables we have the expense table the home table the budget table and the income table all right so let's start with the expense table as you can see um, the first column is the timestamp which will collect the time which in which you are making the submission or record the category is the category of item you bought this is the description let me correct the spelling description and then the amount all right now when you come to the budget i have already pre-filled this with some sample so we can have the food category clothes subscription utility um fuel up to restaurant you can customize this as you want then this part description briefly describes what the category means the budget is the amount you are assigning to that category and then just some icon images to make our app look good so these are links to images i got off google you can choose to use the same or go with what you want then we have the income table this is where you log your income for the given period so the income timestamp the date month year type so let's say if it is salary or a gift or whatever you can do that uh, differentiation here description and then amount all right so by now i'm sure you know how to launch from the spreadsheet into the app sheet platform so let's go straight to extensions you go to app sheet and then create an app all right so the platform is ready we can go straight into data and start preparing our columns so now we have the expense table added the other tables are not added yet so before we do anything let's add them as you can see the system has intelligently detected that the spreadsheet has these tables so we can go ahead and add from here or to make it simple let's go to google sheet and then search for our spreadsheet which we called expense tracker all right when you click on it all the tables they are showing and so we can simply click on add three tables and they will be added all right so all our tables have been added what we need to do now is to prepare the columns like i said timestamp yes should be a date time column and then category the category should be an n or like a drop down where you choose from so instead of text let's assign n to the category column description yes it should be long text and then amount should be number that's right so with a category after determining that it should be an enum drop down 
we need to specify what should be in that drop down all right so we go into data validity and the list of items that should be in that drop down is basically what we have here in the budget table as you can see category these are what we want to show in the drop down of category when we are making an expense record so we simply specify that um, the list we want is in the budget table all right and it is the column called category save all right so now let's turn our attention to budget all right so category yes in the description let's make it long text and then um, budget should be number and then icon image that's right and then we have home the name text all right so we can leave this like this <clears throat> and then when we come to income we have the date time which will be captured when you are making an input as um, the date time then we have date month year so the columns date month year are going to take their values from the income timestamp all right so we need to specify a formula for each of these that will fetch the date month year from the income timestamp so for example for date let's go straight into the formula of that column and then we simply want to date all right so the date function bracket open then we specify the income timestamp column all right so normally the timestamp column comes with date and time so when we apply the date function to it it is only going to fetch the date and not the time all right this will help us in later um, when we want to view spending according to dates and not just timestamp then we have the month um, so for the month we go in and then this is the formula we will use all right so we have a list and then the list is January, February, March, April, May, June, you know, in this short form. And then the month date returns a number. So, for example, if it returns one, it is going to choose January, which is J-A-N. If, if month date returns two, it will fetch February. If it returns three, it will fetch March. All right. So, this expression here makes use of the index function the list function and the month function all right otherwise if we should apply just this that's month of date it is going to return numbers like one two three four all right so we combine this with the others so that instead of numbers we can get january february march as we have it here this will make more sense to the user And then for the year that is quite simple we simply have year and then the date All right so it says the expression is valid but its result type is number and this number is not the expected type date all right so let's save this and then instead of date here we choose number all right similarly for month what will be returned is text so 
let's choose that <clears throat> the next thing we have to pay attention to is the type so over here it's up to you so let's say in like the way we did it for the category this also has to be enum that's a drop down to choose from and then when we go in we can specify the values here so for example salary and I say gift um, side business whatever categories of income you have you can specify them here so that when you are making the input you can correctly assign them that let's save we have an error message which says there's an initial value of today set for this column which is not accurate so we have to go in as you can see here and remove this and this is because the system automatically applied that so we have to remove it and save again okay so we have prepared the income table we have prepared expense we have prepared budgets right so we can go in and start creating our views